instance of SCP-1407. Item number, SCP-1407. Index, DJ's headphones. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. All instances of SCP-1407 are to be contained in standard security lockers located within Site-77. Personnel assigned to SCP-1407 are to wear ear protection while interacting with SCP-1407. Any subjects found to have been affected by SCP-1407 are to be quarantined for study, followed by termination. Description SCP-1407 designates a number of headphone sets, commonly referred to as earbuds. Instances of SCP-1407 are composed of ordinary plastic and various metal wires, along with other components normally found in headphones. Instances of SCP-1407 function normally. When an instance of SCP-1407 is worn in the ear of a human subject, it will begin to extrude metal wires into the subject's ear canal. Subjects will report not feeling these wires, but will indicate that they find the SCP-1407 instance extremely comfortable to wear. After a period of 20 through 45 minutes, these wires reach the cochlea and will begin to extend into the pores of the ear canal, physically removing any hairs and replacing them with wires. At this point, the subject will be unable to remove the SCP-1407 instance without severely damaging their ear canals. SCP-1407 will continue spreading through the subject's body, most commonly to the outer epidermal tissue and ocular cavities. Subjects may report rashes or impaired vision. Underneath the epidermal tissue, SCP-1407 will create additional instances of itself by replicating its components with bone, muscle, and bodily fluids. In addition, follicles existing on the surface of the epidermal tissue will be replaced with SCP-1407 wires. Additional SCP-1407 instances will also be created in the stomach, cranium, and intestines, usually growing beneath the outer tissue layer and appearing as cysts or hemorrhoids. It takes one through three days for an SCP-1407 instance to fully spread through the subject's body. If the subject is exposed to sounds greater than 115 decibels, the speakers within the subject's body will begin to replicate the sound. As exposure time increases, the subject's skin tissue and any matter occupying the ocular cavities will begin to flake off or dissolve as the speakers within the subject become louder. In addition, the number of SCP-1407 instances present within the system will increase continuously until the pressure within the body causes them to be violently ejected through the subject's orifices or through tissue weakened by SCP-1407's effect. SCP-1407 was recovered from a nightclub in Miami, Florida, after a DJ suddenly expired during a party. When autopsy reports reached Foundation assets in the local police department, the body was secured along with one instance of SCP-1407. As of 11-14-2006, SCP-1407 has been classified as Euclid. Currently, 11 instances of SCP-1407 are in containment. Addendum. A proposal has been requested by Dr. to use D-class personnel affected by SCP-1407 to circle around SCP-1009 so that only one speaker needs to be maintained. On-site medical staff are to be present to care for any injuries caused by SCP-1407.